Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Todd. Come to schedule with a brand new video here on the channel. Um, I know this is a little different. I am recording this on my phone. Usually you guys are used to seeing me on a screen in gaming content. But um, for those of you who don't know, a few months ago I actually uploaded a how to get a VPN on your PS4. Um, I just wanted to make an update version to that because some of you were having some issues. And I'm just going to make an updated version to that here really, really quickly. So this is going to be recorded on my phone in my room. So <laughs> I apologize for my bad camera skills. But let's go ahead and get into it now. I just want to let you guys know this is being done on PS4. You guys can see I got my PS4 controller right here. Um, this does, it's the same way for the PS5, the Xbox, or anything like that. Just like different internet settings and stuff like that. But um, the first thing you guys are going to need is you will need like a computer or a laptop or something. You guys can see I got my computer right there. Um, and it can be connected to the internet. If your computer does not connect to the Wi Fi, um, like mine you guys will need one of these little cable things for your computer basically all it is is you, it's just a USB uh, right here and you plug it in to your PC right there and then it's like an extra Ethernet port because I use Ethernet on my PC right here I use Ethernet so it's like another Ethernet port and then you will need another ethernet cable to plug into your ps4 so you will need a ethernet cable which looks like this on both ends to be able to plug into your ps4 um and let's go ahead and get into it for so first step is getting a vpn so i'm going to show you guys how to get a vpn right here so we'll just open up google and i'll show you guys the one that i use right here which is that private internet access um I just buy a year one. It's only like 40 bucks for a year. You guys can use a free one. This can be done with a free one or anything like that. But I usually just use the year one. And if we go down to it right here, this is what it looks like once you're all said and done. Um, it's super simple, easy download process onto your computer. You just click download. You got to get an account. You got to uh, put in your username, password. And it'll give you one in an email. And then once you have that, it'll it'll look like this right when you get it and I am doing this on a fresh PC so I'm sure this is what it looks like now from here you can just choose where you want your uh, IP to be obviously I live near Chicago so I'm gonna change it to Chicago and then I'm just gonna hit this power button right here and you guys can see we will be connecting to the VPN on our PC now this is the VPN on the PC so if I wanted to use it on the PC this is all I have to do but I want to use it on console so how do I use it on console let's go ahead and get into it so I got my console right here. I'm actually just going to dashboard for you guys. You guys can see it is mine. Um, I'll just dashboard for you guys really quickly. And once we did that, uh, I'll show you guys I am connected to Wi-Fi right now. So I am connected to my personal Wi-Fi. Um, if we test my internet, I'm actually not going to do that. But you guys can see it use Wi-Fi. So that is how I'm connected. So we're going to make sure that this is plugged in to our PC. If your PC runs off of Wi-Fi and you're using Wi-Fi for the VPN, you can just use the regular ethernet slot. You don't need one of these cables, but if your PC runs on ethernet like mine does, you will need this part for it like I showed in the beginning of the video. And then you will need this little, another ethernet cable. Sorry for the mess. Uh, I, know I don't really do cable management that well. You guys can see it is plugged into my PS4 right here. So this part is plugged into my PS4. So if I wanted to use a VPN, I could. So I'm just gonna plug it back in. You guys heard the click. So you're gonna plug this into the new USB port that you guys got, and you're gonna slide it and plug it back into your PS4. But you guys will notice um, now, you guys, it, it still won't give you like a internet connection on your LAN cable. So if we do that, it, it still won't give us an internet connection right away. And that's okay because you there's one more step you guys do have to do on pc but as you can see if i just have the ethernet cable in there it won't work right now or anything like that and i will have to do another method for it uh or not another method but just another step so make sure you guys keep following along it's not really that hard so now we're gonna go back to the pc and we're gonna go to something called the control panel um right here the control panel and once we are here we're just gonna go to network and internet and then we're gonna click network and sharing center and then we are going to click change adapter setting and then it'll pop up with this now as you can see under local area internet connection it says private internet access and it says ethernet 2 and it says unidentified network and that's the ethernet that we have plugged in to this part right here this is the ethernet it doesn't it unidentified um, 
but that's all right. So basically our internet right now is coming from the private internet access, which is the VPN. So we're gonna right click on this, go to properties, go to sharing right up here, allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Check that, go here, and you're gonna wanna click ethernet two. And then just click okay. And once you have done that, you guys have successfully connected your VPN. So your ethernet, if you guys are running off of ethernet like I am right here, you guys can see I'm running off of ethernet. That ethernet will be ethernet one, or depending on how many ethernets you've used. And then the ethernet cable right here will be ethernet two. So we're connecting it to whatever this one is. So whatever this one is, that's the one we're connecting, we're sharing with. And once we have shared, um, I'll go back on the PS4 and show you guys. So we're going to click use the LAN cable, easy. And once we have done that, and we make sure that the VPN is on, and we can just test internet connection. And right here, it will successfully connect us to the internet via our uh, VPN. So you guys can stay safe online. Now, what does a VPN do? And the speeds are pretty fast for this VPN as well. So that's why I recommend getting this one. Um, it's very, very easy, quick VPN to use. Now, what does a VPN do? Basically, a VPN will prevent you from being booted offline in any way, shape, or form. As long as they don't have your original IP address, I don't believe they can boot you offline. This is what I use it for because a lot of people like to boot here on PS4. And it's just annoying trying to join parties and stuff with booters. And I know with the new party system, it is kind of hard for people to join your party and boot you offline. But they can still do it. And yeah, it's just crazy. And it can also be used to like play games early as well. So like if I wanted to change it, when you buy it, you can change it to like anywhere. Like I can change it mine to, you know, like um, the Ukraine, I can change it to. You guys can see I can click that and I can connect to the Ukraine. My speeds won't be as fast, obviously, but I can be in the Ukraine if I want. Um, and, I, and then I can just go back to the US in Chicago. And that's this basically just how you do it, guys. That's how you connect a VPN to your computer, from your computer to your PS4. If this did help you guys out, make sure you guys leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new or if this did help you out in any way. But yeah, that's basically just how you connect a VPN to your PS4. Like I said, this can work with a PS5 and Xbox and whatever. Whatever you want, basically. This is how you do it. If you guys want an updated method on how to connect it to your like actual router, let me know and I will drop a method on that. But like I said, I hope this tutorial helps you guys out. And with all that out of the way, guys, I'm out. Peace.